Okay, today we are playing a game on King's Row. We are in the Diamond SR range, and we'll be playing Moira the entire way through. And oh shit, this person drew something, so you know you're getting shown that as well over here. Here we go. Don't get punished. Don't have to learn. Words to live by. Thank you very much. It's incredible. I love it. Much love. Thank you. So, let's start the game. So we're attacking first. Uh, this was also on the console, by the way, so consider yourself forward. Um, this was when Reinhardt wasn't banned, which was a good time. You know, Reinhardt's banned right now, and I wish they'd stop doing that. Because, do you know what, you know what I think the second I see Reinhardt is banned in this hero rotation? I think to myself, oh, fuck. That means we're gonna have a lot of Roadhog Diva for the next week. Or, if we're lucky, we'll get Diva Zarya. Which is not a massive improvement, but is what will happen. I think, you know, I think I've seen Orisa and Sigma maybe four times. It's amazing. To be fair, I don't want to play those heroes, so I fully understand nobody else wanting to play those heroes. Stop banning Reinhardt. God damn. This means we have to endure playing with two off tanks for the next week. It's terrible. Anyway. So. We're having a great time, sitting around the corner, spraying the boys. Didn't get hassled at all. It was a good time. Throw the orb in. Then Moira got rezzed. Reinhardt got walled off. He's fucking dead as a result of that. We're having a great time back here. Nobody's really trying to get us. That's great. Didn't quite manage to kill the Mercy. We did try. Our Mercy's getting killed in front of us. She got frozen. Got coalescence. We're just going to use the coalescence. So, I would like to swing a little bit more this way as we're doing this just because I knew Mercy went around the corner and with any luck we'll get to kill Mercy with the coalescence um, which would be nice uh, but we're mostly just trying to get our teammates right now which is also understandable but I'm an aggressive boy and I like to try and kill people coalescence is cool like that where you know there's the support it's always really fun oh diva got it great job diva Great job, Diva. She got Maze Um, I always like when there's an Ana on the enemy team. You use Coalescence. If you're really lucky, the Mercy will damage boost you. And you just laser the fuck out of that Ana through the shield. And she's like, no, stop, please. And she can't do anything about it. What's she gonna do? She already stood behind the shield. She did everything she thought she needed to do. Nope. No such luck. Was that there, Earth Shadow? No, no, we were, no, okay. I, I heard self-destruct go off and I was like, well, that was an earth shatter. No, 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 that was a bomb going off, actually. Um, so things are getting a little hectic right now. We're gonna use the uh, the healing orb for the diva while we sip. This is, that's all fine. Uh, you know, everything's going pretty fine. Team's really split up right now, which is not exactly making things easy for us. We're trying to get Doom, the healing orb actually, the healing orb managed to make its way round to Doomfist, which was convenient. Um, our team wasn't making a, that one easy on. It's got like two people in the room over there, like a couple people on the point. We're all very spread out. Uh, but you know, we're, we're playing Moira right now. Everything's going good. Uh, we didn't really get hassled like the entire time that fight was going on. Nobody really tried to contest us, so that was pretty fucking sick by all accounts. Uh, it's all, you know, it's a good day when you play in a healer and no one tries to hassle you. That's the cool thing about playing Moira also, is sometimes they don't even try, you know? Sometimes that Genji looks at the backline and he'll see, like, you stood next to a soldier or something, and he'll go, fucking Moira, and just goes for the soldier. It's great. He's like, I'm not even gonna fucking try and get the Moira. Uh, and if they do, you know, just leave. It's cool. Moira's cool. I like Moira. Um, so this blizzard's really inconvenient. We had two people hiding in the room over there. We couldn't really get to them without getting frozen. So, you know, conveniently, they didn't die. Um, but eh, it all could have gone better. I don't really like using the healing orb like that. I guess we were concerned about the Doomfist around the corner. It doesn't really matter, to be fair, because we have to wait for our team to regroup right now regardless. So it doesn't really matter. Interesting use of self-destruct. And she's lost her mech. I feel like that camera movement <laughs> pretty much summed it up. You know, <laughs> that that kind of vibe about it. 
Um, an interesting use of resources, Diva. So we've got Coalescence, use Coalescence right at the fight start. Fair enough. All's well, trying to peek round. Ryan's gotten walled off again. You know, like, what can you do? We tried our best, we're peeking through. Tragically, you know, Moira can't just, like, hold her arm around the corner or something. No, 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 no. One day, when we play, like, Overwatch 4, and we can play in VR or something, just, like, reach around the wall, that'd be a great time. Not today. Not today. Uh, anyway, so, oh, look, she's been walled off now. Yep, throw the orb around, you know, it's about the best you can do in this situation. But D.Va's fucking dead. Uh, no, when, nobody's doing a great job of learning from that one, obviously, keep getting walled off. It's okay, though. Genji and Reinhardt just managed to kill the entire team. Yeah. You know. Uh, we, we didn't have to do anything, it's great. They just dealt, dealt with that one for us. It's going good, it's going, you know, we're playing Moira, we're having a great time. We died once, but like, it didn't even really count, because not much was going on. It's, it's going good, it's going good. Um, I haven't got much to say, really. Like, we're pretty much playing Moira right now. This is the thing with Moira, once you, like, get Moira, you know, there isn't too much more to say. Most of Moira is, like, Moira doesn't have too many skill testing elements, to be honest. We're managing our resource. We're throwing them orbs, you know, we're having a- we're not fading in to people to try and, like, heal somebody. Um, that's in, like, a bad spot, yeah, pretty fucked. See tac Visor up there, yeah. The fade didn't go great, but, like, Soldier was gonna come after us regardless, so, you know, like... I I'm pretty sure we died there regardless, and even if we didn't, our the rest of our team was certainly gonna die, regardless. It's okay, they pushed Q, what can you do? Um, when, like, four people on the enemy team push Q, you're not really expected to win the team fight unless you have multiple people who can also push Q in response. You know, it's kind of that way. This is the cool thing about defending versus attacking in Overwatch, is the defenders, they never have to use as many ultimates. Because as soon as you kill an attacker or two, the attacker's momentum is kind of fucked, right? Whereas the attackers, they need to kill everybody to make any progress. As long as one person's alive, they're still contesting the point. The attackers need to kill everyone to progress. But defenders, you kill a couple people, you've stopped their push, essentially. Unless, like, something terrible happens, you know? So, this is the cool thing. You're defending, you push Q, you kill a couple people. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. You know? That's the cool thing about defending. Um, attackers usually have to spend a lot more resources to get through than the defenders do. Teams got walled off. Uh, we didn't throw our orb before we did that, but the email specifically mentioned this, so we'll not belabor, belabor the point further. We know. You know, li life is this way sometimes. It's alright. Hey, look at that. Big C9. Amazing. <laughs> Fucking got him. Uh, Roadhog was up to no good. It was very scary. But while he was up to no good, nobody was touching the point. So, hey, we got it anyway. Uh, we gotta get Coalesce. Here comes the wall again. This one's not that bad, but, you know, it was inconvenient all the same. And being inconvenienced is probably worse overall. You know, I hate being inconvenienced. So Ryan got a pretty sick Earth Shatter in terms of numbers, but not great in terms of, like, our team's ability to follow up on it. Which has resulted in it being fairly lackluster overall, as we can see. Uh, we decided to use Coalescence. I don't really want to, just because, like, it's not looking good. Oh, what a hero! Oh, Reinhardt! Oh, never. It's okay that he didn't kill anybody with that Earth Shatter. It's okay. It's okay. He made up for it by saving us from the main. Um... Was I, I didn't really like using Coalescence right there. That team fight was already looking pretty fucked. But it also wasn't, like, completely untenable at the same time. We didn't need to get much further to win the game, but I would have rather just saved the ult at that point because it wasn't looking like we were going to win the team fight at that point. Uh, and I don't want to commit any more ults to the team fight than we had already for what was probably not going to work. At the same time, though, we're playing Moira, so we're already most of the way to having Coalescence back up again. Moira being that way. Uh, ooh, oh, we dodged it. Sick, sick, sick. We dodged the Earth Shatter. Um, 
That's probably the biggest skill testing element for Moira, to be honest with you, is can you dodge an Earth Shatter with Phase? Um, you know, and then I guess you do some resource management. You know, I guess. But, like, the real element, can we dodge some fucking sick abilities? We killed the fuck out of that Mercy, and I like that. Uh... That's one of my favorite uses of Coalescence, because the Mercy is just like, Ah, what have I got to worry about? I'm using Valkyrie. What are they going to do? They ain't got a Deadeye or Attack Visor. And then you fucking Coalesce him to death. And he's upset about it. And Mercy... Mercy players are probably the most easily tilted players in the game. And you can't underestimate the value of mental damage in this game. And Moira is very good at inflicting mental damage on the enemy team. Our team's pretty fucked here. You know, we fell off the map. That's very tragic. Ooh, fuck. Yeah, the bottom of this pit gets a little fucked up, didn't it? Doesn't it? Because, like, eh, people ain't gonna see down here very often. It's okay. We can scrimp, skimp on this a little bit down here. It's like fucking 7,000 meter pit that we made for some reason. You know, we'll just sort of stop halfway down. Uh, I think my favorite is how the bottom isn't, like, actually any kind of, like, area. It's just a flat metal texture, essentially. Like, uh, yeah. We really stopped trying at this point, didn't we? We're pretty fucked right now. We just gotta touch the point or lose. So, you know... Or, well, not lose. We, we're not captured the third checkpoint. We haven't lost yet. So, yeah. Honestly, I ain't got anything to say about that one. Like, we played some Moira. I liked how towards the end as well... Like, towards the end, we started getting low on resource. Um, during the second to last push. And we were actually, like, stopped spraying people to try and regenerate it, which is uh, not to be underestimated, having self-control as Moira. We've seen a great many Moiras who are like, literally down to like, their last, the last of their sip. And they're like, spray. On somebody that's full health. You know, it's good to have self-control, we didn't do that, and that's honestly one of the most exciting things for me. Like, we're pretty much playing Moira, I haven't got much to say about it. Um, at least not that, like, the email didn't already mention, which was basically, like, using the orbs before coalescence and stuff like that, you know? Which is, like, you know, the main thing from that round, to be honest, uh, having the orb off cooldown right when we started using coalescence, but it's in the email, we'll not belabor the point, we understand. Um, other than that, like, we're playing Moira. Yeah? We're playing some Moira. I don't like doing this. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't don't do that. Oh God, no. Um, probably don't need to go too in depth on that one. We were never gonna do anything on that point except like immediately die. We should have just left. Uh, we just fed some old charge. You know. Um, we're, we're, but we're like playing Moira. Like by all accounts, this is a pretty good Moira game overall. Um, we're. Uh, Managing the resource, we're sipping the people, we're getting the kills when we see it, we're, or we're trying to get a kill when we have the opportunity. Um, we did try to get the Mercy back on round one, we didn't get her, we got her later though, so fuck her. She was using Valkyrie that time as well, so, yeah, fucking got her in the end. Uh, we've seen this person play before as well, and uh, I, w I would say there has been a, a steep improvement uh, overall as well. Like, this is, this is a good Moira game. We, we were a play in Moira. Uh, the situations that have gone really badly, there's, like, realistically not a whole lot we do about it. I would have rather used the damage orb there, just because Reaper was pretty far up. So, hopefully the damage orb would help, like, try and kill him from being too far, like, overextending slightly. But at the same time, uh, it's Reaper, he can just fucking Wraith form out, so this healing orb is the safer option. But... It didn't really look like he was going to kill anybody. I'd rather take the chance on maybe killing him. Um, we did notice that uh, the, somebody was still contesting the payload, I think, and backed up. Uh, I did notice it was contesting, and I was like, who is still touching the point? Oh, it's fucking Reinhardt, of all people. You know. Uh, so the enemy seems to got a lot of ultimates. That's pretty spooky. Uh, we've got Riptire, though. And Riptire is really good at stopping the attacking team's momentum. Like, Riptire is real good at, like, sniping a couple of kids. Hey, hey, you stop that. Hey. My, hey. What the fuck do you think you're doing, brother? 
He's like, oh shit, she's seen me. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He's doing it again. Ah, oh, fuck. I think we saw him without the silhouette as well. No, that's not far enough back. I think we saw him without the silhouette. I definitely saw this. Yeah, we looked right at him. To be fair, it's dark and he's dark. So I'm not too surprised we didn't see it. But we, we did look and see him and then like didn't register it. Um... Yeah, I like the I do like the tenacity on that Reaper though. I have to I have to respect that play. Oh fuck, she saw me. Literally walked around the corner for about three seconds and then went. She's probably not looking anymore, and then just tried the exact same alleyway again, uh, and it worked. So hey, you know, good on him. He was right. I just like I just like admire the sheer tenacity on that. She's gone. She's not still looking anymore. Three seconds later. Um, so things are looking pretty bad right now. Um, this is the sort of point where I start being concerned because it looks like they might just ride this momentum through at this point. Like our team's starting to get staggered a lot. Uh, they're riding some momentum through and momentum is a very powerful force in the universe, you know? Uh, but Hey, Genji's using Dragon Blade. Both their healers died. Hooray. Moira got rezzed, but, you know, Genji's in there using Dragon Blade. Hooray. They didn't just, like, ride that momentum straight through. Uh, did he drop? No. Where'd the Reaper go? Oh, he's behind. Oh, no, it's Mei. I thought it was Reaper. Never mind. Fucking Mei was back there. Well, she's dead now, so fuck her. She's at the bottom of the pit. I heard Rodog's hook latch onto somebody, but clearly not much came out of that. Um, fucking hook 2.0, am I right? From fucking like three years ago that happened at this point. You believe Overwatch is four years old? It's been that long. Isn't it incredible how time flies? Um, and over that time, they didn't really release that much extra content. But hey, you know, it's time to make a sequel. Which is just a PvE mode that we're gonna call a sequel. But uh, hey, you know... Ma'am, let me tell you, Overwatch 2 is going to come out, and a story mode is one of the most requested features for Overwatch. Probably the most requested feature for Overwatch overall. And uh, I, I'm going to lock my prediction in right now. Everybody's going to hate it. Or they're just going to dislike it. At the very, maybe they won't hate it. But I think the universal opinion of it is going to be, that was pretty disappointing. Because, you know, I think that people look at the Overwatch characters and they're like, wow, these are really, like, evocative characters, right? The problem is that all of the characters are actually just, like, a couple of stereotypes from their country, like, transformed into a person, right? If you need further proof of this, look at Ash and McCree next to each other. They're literally the same person, but one's got tits. And why? That's the American stereotype. Right there. In male form and female form. So I think that the story mode is going to come out. And everybody's going to find out... Oh, fuck. These are not actually particularly well-written characters. They're just characters that have, like, a couple of factoids stapled to the front of them. And people are going to go, Ah, oh, fuck. I think it's going to be very disappointing overall. Um... Because, like, even things that would have already been interesting have kind of been boiled down. I remember seeing this concept art for the um, Tracer Widowmaker short, where Widowmaker, like, the concept art for Widowmaker was a lot scarier than how she actually showed up in the uh, um, short. Let me see if I can find it real quick, actually, because, like, the concept art was, like, pretty incredible, honestly. And then they walked that back in the actual animation. Give me a second. I've actually found, like, the best possible result, which is the actual short, like, pictures from the short edited to be more in line with the concept art side by side. It's, it's perfect. It's incredible. So here's the concept art of her from the short, which is way better because it's like Widowmaker's actually like a fucking brainwashed person and this does a much better job of actually encapsulating that and so here's what she looks like and then edited to be more in line with that you know it's a lot scarier which you know Widowmaker's lore is pretty scary to be honest with you 
But no, you know, hey, you know, that's really evocative and captures the story. Ah, uh, but what if we just make her the sexy sniper instead? You know, I fine, whatever, I guess, you know, whatever. We don't have to do anything too interesting, I suppose. You know, whatever, you're free to do whatever you want, Blizzard. Fucking Jeff. Anyway, so we got like 10 seconds left on this game, but I was just like, I gotta have to follow that line of thought through to the end because I think people are gonna be so disappointed with the story mode. Yeah, we're getting frozen. We've been walled off. We're like, no, 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 no. You get walled off, you're pretty much fucked. Um, I wonder if we could have fade jumped off. I don't know. I don't, I like, I've never honestly learned how to fade jump because it's such a niche ability. I wonder if we could have fade jumped off the payload to like get around it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I never learned that much about fade jumping because it's so very rarely useful to be honest with you. Hey, look, we can look at what YouTube's got for us today. Austin Eruption's pretty good. Mostly along the lines of like, hey, these games are terrible. Look at these. Fantastic. Great. What happens? Great. Highly recommend. Uh, you know. Shit, this movie slash game went really badly. What happened with that, brother? It, it was, you know, a lot. Metal Gear Solid 4 was a mistake. That is true. Joseph Anderson's fine. He's pretty dry, to be honest with you. I don't really like the gaming bridge show, to be honest with you. I find him to be very unentertaining. Civi 11's good. Old shooters for the most part, you know. Super Eye Patch Wolf is also good. Highly recommend. Uh, mostly along the lines of, yo, this anime is pretty good. You like anime? You should watch this anime, you know. But there's some video game stuff and some wrestling stuff in there as well. Uh, there's one about fake, ma this one about fake martial arts is very entertaining. I highly recommend watching this one, if nothing else. It's very good. Oh, I'm gonna KO this person without touching him. Why didn't it work on this guy that doesn't believe? Um, his tongue was in the wrong position in his mouth. I'm not joking. That was the excuse that was given. It was incredible. Um, yeah, so honestly, like, that was a good Moira game. I don't have anything really to say about it that you didn't already say um, in the email. Or that, you know, I just along the lines of I would have liked to try and kill that person a little bit harder, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, uh, but that's me, I like to kill people, um, this is why I'm draw drawing some Moira, I, you know, I can sip the enemy team, and, uh, get the kills that my DPS are too bad to kill, uh, but then that does have this, the downside of when they see me sip an enemy team, an enemy, for 0 0.5 seconds, they immediately cry DPS Moira, and then everybody on the team starts pointing at you, like invasion of the fucking body snatchers, right? Like, immediately, that's the response. But, that's me, I like to kill people. But like, that was a good Moira game. I don't really have anything to say about it. Like, played well. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I don't think there was a specific question in the email, but let me just double check real quick. I missed one that was in an email once, and now I live in constant fear of forgetting that there was a question in the email ever since that day, basically. This is me. I will carry it with me to the grave. I'll be on my deathbed thinking, oh, fuck, that one time I missed a question in the email. Jesus Christ, you failure. Um, no, there is no question in the email, so... Great. Awesome. So thank you very much for watching if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. Thank you again for the drawing. I loved it. It's fantastic. And don't get punished. Don't have to learn. Words to live by. Um, I, wh where was I? I fucking put that in the middle and now I've lost my place. Um, fuck it. I stream on Twitch Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I hope you found the video helpful.